All right, traders, it's E from marketwizard.com and eminiwizard.com. And it's uh, lunch hour on Friday, um, the 23rd of April, 2021. Reminding traders to use risk capital you can afford to lose. Risky business. All right, let's take a quick peek. And I'm doing this uh, basically for myself and anybody that wants to listen, but it's a one of the ways I like to review the market and see what uh, I'm guessing right and what I'm guessing wrong. We started with this idea this morning, 60 minute chart was in play and we were in the funnel basically between these two lines. That's what I call the funnel. And uh, what I try to do is understand these relationships, and this is supportive till broken, and then this one is obviously resistance. And in the old days, I used to believe that this was all important, but I've come to understand that the real power comes from smaller time frames, um, and it's a trade that I call ahead of the snake. You've got to be watching the one-minute chart, not just a 30 and a 15. A lot of gurus you know, always are talking about got to use these big power charts, but I, I find that's incorrect. So we already know the result of today's trade so far. Um, and we've gotten into our resistance zone right here. We can go to any high today. And I'd suggest make sure this 78 to 80 is our next resistance. This was the third time through trade. And the goal on this trade, once we get this rocking and rolling, the boys want to knock out the prior day's high. So, so that's a given in my book that we're gonna get that 72 to 75. And then can we get up here and, and tag this? So first things first, you've got to take out the overnight high. And once we do, then we know it's off to the races. And obviously that uh, breakdown at uh, 51, um in here yesterday very important so we had to get past that and once we do we're rocking and rolling and then 52 becomes my support and the attempt is to to obviously get back up to the scene of the crime get back up into that 68 72 area and then it's up to the boys can they squeeze some more so so let's take a quick peek at this chart right here and again, this is for me, this is my study guide. I try to understand what I'm, you know, the calls I'm making correct and, and how that will work out. So so this is the morning trade looking to, to come down. And our call was to 32 to, to 30, make sure you are paid pre-market five minute was working as well as the 60 here. And, and this was a close the gap type trade that, that I liked. Then we get obviously um, a news type event at the open. And this is where you can see immediately that this line is in control and this one does not have the power that you thought it might have. So I'm going to take this out and, and we're going to look at this now in a couple of other chart time frames. And I can scale this back to whatever I want like the 30s, you can see that was the same idea. Once we got past this rain line, we got a kick off of this 30 line. If we scale it back some more, which I like to do, here's your 15. We got the same thing there. We took out the rain line here. And this looks very negative until we get this bow tie. And then all of a sudden we get the push and the squeeze because a lot of traders thought this was a continuation day. Now here's a nice chart that I like too, the tens and the fives. They all confirm what we've been looking at. Five minute chart, we get the bow tie. Look, this is that morning trade we were talking about and make sure you're paid at 28. So we're just sitting there you could see the 28 zone was just holding. And that's what I'm, when I'd said that earlier, just throw a horizontal line in there. You could see where this 28, the gap area had just held little undercut and then held it and held it. This is the dicey area early. Nobody knows for sure, but I felt today was gonna come back and at least test the 52s to 55s at least that, that was my you know guesstimate this morning first thing 
So, so here's your five minute chart still rocking and rolling. You can see it's never ever challenged to come back and take out the red line or the blue line or the rain line. Scale it back, let's look at a three. Three has been rocking and rolling, same thing up. Here's a push bar. Look at look at this bar right here that says you're not coming south side. It is a blue bar and, and it shows the power and the force that no, we're going up. Here's a two. Same thing. So I scroll these charts and what I want to do is impress in my mind the power of this type of day. And you could make your whole week just in one day like this if you trade this aggressively when you understand the pattern and, and where you think the targets are. As long as you stay above the blue line, you're as good as gold. So this is your reversal right here, bow tie, I call it. Dave Landry is the one I learned that from called the bow tie. And as we get later in the day, you want to revert back to something more like the five or 10, because <clears throat> obviously you've, you've got to count for the time in the day too. So, so we can see on this one minute chart right here, that starts and never looks back. And I'm just following this chart and, and I've got one monitor where I have this chart. That's all I'm looking at is this one chart and I'll scroll it and say, okay, it's still good. It's still in play, it's still in play. And here was our lunch liftoff. So right now I think it's contra time because we got within a point or two of where I thought would go. My legitimate target for today was 79 to 80. We know that's the resistance zone. And rather than try to guess against today, I felt that was the right place to make sure that I'm paid and sidelined and then relax and grab lunch and do a video like this to confirm my ideas. So this is one of the ways that I'm, I'm looking to cement in my mind my techniques and I, I hope it helps you. Three minutes still in play. And as we get later in the day, you can always undercut these lines. Usually the first hour of the day and the last hour, we can have a little bit um, outliers where it won't necessarily adhere and hold on to a line simply because we, we know that traders are taking their profits. My, my guess is that the 80 to 82 is our resistance for today. And we did take a look at this chart to say why. So my thought was they wanted to displace the prior highs and get up into this box. And the prior high was back here at that 75. So I felt they wanted to at least knock out stops on that. And then if we get a, another push this afternoon, we can certainly come up and um, test that 80. And I think that 83 and a half is current resistance from uh, a week ago. All right, so that's how I look at markets. Hope this overview helps you. If you need more information about me, check me out at uh, marketwizards.com. Love talking to traders and helping those that uh, want some help. Be well and have a great weekend.